The implementation of testing standards by the Australian Sports Commission is essential to ensure the integrity, security and safety of all athletes. Testing is carried out in order to deter the use of illicit drugs in sport. Athletes are chosen randomly from each sport. A sample collection officer wearing identification will arrive at your training venue if you are the selected athlete. At the completion of your training session, the officer will ask the coach or supervising person to assist them in identifying you. The officer will escort you to the testing area. You will be given a copy of the testing procedure to read. You must remain in the testing area with the officer until you have completed all sample requests. You will not be allowed to use a mobile phone until the procedure is over. You will be given the testing kit to examine to ensure it has not been tampered with. If you are not satisfied with the kit, you may choose an alternative one. If both you and the officer are not satisfied with any of the testing kits, the officer will stop the process and record this in the notes. If, however, the officer deems the kit to be satisfactory, they will overrule you and instruct you to proceed with the testing. You will be asked to remove unnecessary outer clothing, empty your pockets and leave all personal items and bags outside the bathroom area. The officer will ask you to wash your hands in front of them before they collect the sample. After this, there will be no access to taps, soap dispensers or cleaning agents. The officer is required to witness the collecting of the urine sample by you. You will hold on to the urine sample until the process is complete. The officer will be of the same gender as you. You may request a representative of your choice to be present during testing. If you are under the age of 18, you are encouraged to take up this option. The officer will determine that enough urine has been collected for testing. They will also examine the colour of the sample and look for any indication of adulterants or dilutions. Their findings will be recorded on the chain of custody form. If the officer has any doubts about the origin or authenticity of your sample, they may ask you for another sample. You will then be asked to split the sample between two separate storage bottles. The officer will provide help regarding the quantity. If necessary, the officer will test the residual urine sample to determine if it is likely to meet the laboratory requirements. If they determine that it does not, a second sample will be requested. All samples collected are then sent to the laboratory. The officer will place the sealed sample bottles in a bag with a tamper evidence seal and close it. The entire process will take place in front of you. Before leaving, you will sign the chain of custody form bearing the individual collection kit number. This will also be witnessed by the sample collection officer. You will be able to comment on the procedure in the comments section of the form. This concludes the procedure. For further information, please contact your illicit drugs in sport coordinator.